Good morning. <clears throat> Honors English 10. It is November 10th. It's Tuesday. If you could be any animal for a month, what would it be and why? Uh, gratuitous Mercury picture. We went to see him Friday right after work. I've been on my motorcycle also since Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It was a beautiful weekend, so hopefully everybody had fun. Um, it looks like we got snow coming today on Tuesday. All right, just some reminders and looking at the schedule and how we're spending our time this week. Vocabulary quiz is tomorrow. It's a formative quiz, so make sure you're studying up all of those words you found in these videos or in person. Uh, your advertisement was due on Monday. Make sure you submit that to last <clears throat> the, uh, last Thursday's folder. I'm not switching around assignments. I want to make sure I keep things in the same place you found them originally. Otherwise, it gets confusing, so make sure you go back to last Thursday's folder and submit your create and add assignment. Otherwise, today is a work day on your essay. Um, media literacy number eight, it is your final media literacy. So you've had media literacy number one, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's six of these videos. You can find them on YouTube. They're called Crash Course Media Literacy or go back through our uh, folders and uh, find the notes. Or go through your own notes and find the links in your notes. It is time to get to work on your summative essay. Your planning document is due today. For B-Day students in person, I'll be working with their planning documents and going over their thematic statements in particular, and then making sure that they have quotations that are fit to purpose with their thematic statement. And then just giving them some general help on analyzing, thinking, ruminating, and feeling out how they're going to explain and thoroughly analyze how the quotations support developing their thematic state. Uh, for A-Day students, I'll be doing that in just a quick check-in. Not, not quick, just I'm going to be doing a check-in with you about your planning documents on Thursday right away. That's all we're doing in class while you finish up your essay because they're due on Thursday. Virtual students, check out. I'm going to be giving uh, just to give them written feedback about your thematic statements, statements in particular and any other relevant information that I might see in um, how you're developing your argument with the text citations you've chosen. Summative discussion. All right, B-Day students, uh, we're, I'm doing mine in person. VLA, all virtual students, uh, no matter what day you have yours. It's today at 2 p.m. Don't forget, the link will be posted in the current folder like we've done in the past, about 1.58 p.m., so don't be late. Um, there will be one makeup discussion uh, at 2 p.m. Um, it's an option, Thursday at 2 p.m. Um, and as a reminder, your media literacy quiz uh, for all these six videos and the notes you've taken and understanding those concepts is next Monday, November 16th. All right, after going through your thematic paragraphs, much better. My feedback in general is that we're doing much better writing. We're understanding the concept of theme much better than we had been the previous weeks. But some tips uh, that most of us will need, because most of us were making, these are very common errors. Book titles should be in italics, like you see here. It's where the letters are kind of slanted to the right. Make sure uh, this is a book. It's not a short story like pedestrian, so this is... Uh, title that's in italics. Stop using personal pronouns in writing. When you say I, me, my, you, you weaken your argument. You're trying to prove this statement as something that's valid. It's true. So just saying personal pronouns like I believe, I think, it weakens your argument. It doesn't tell me that this is so. It tells me I believe this is so. And it's just not as strong. So in general, when you're doing formal writing, persuasive writing, you're not going to use personal pronouns. So think of other ways. Instead of saying, I believe this is the theme, say one theme of thematic, uh, one theme of Fahrenheit 451 is. And so you just make statements from I believe or I think to things as factual. And it's on you to prove, uh, prove that. All right, be specific with your thematic statements. We're getting much better with this, but some of us can still improve on that. I'm helping you in person. If you have questions about this virtually, let me know. Use evidence. I'm really cl paying close attention to this. Use text evidence. That's relevant to what your thematic statements say. So um, 
uh, I'll, I'll be giving most everybody very good feedback on that. And then just watch your, your punctuation. This is, I gave an example here at the end of uh, what a citation would look like. Quotation marks here, uh, period, goes outside the parenthetical citation. I want to see the author's last name and page numbers. All right. I am not going to read these to you, but I will point out that these are two solid examples of theme paragraphs. Um, so read it, understand each of these paragraphs has a part, uh, each of the parts on, that are on the rubric. You have a thematic statement, goes to here. You have a transition sentence that goes to here. You introduce the quotes with context here. You have quotes and citations that are accurately um, and, and correctly cited. I would add the author's page or author's last name, but because we're only using one book, I, I'm letting this one slide, but I want you to get in the habit of putting Bradbury 52. And then we have thorough explanations leading up to the next quotation. And this is another good time to clarify. You need each of your body paragraphs needs two quotations. We have another uh, introduction of the quote. Accurate citations, period goes outside, and then a thorough explanation and a concluding statement. You will see the same elements in this uh, in this uh, paragraph here. I think this is one of the one of the most in, uh, complex theme statements I saw out of the bunch out of the twenty five um, paragraphs that were turned in on time. But it has a thematic statement. We have a transition. Sentence, you have introducing the quote with context, quotations, citations, more quotations, and good work. All right, everybody, let me know uh, what your questions are. Don't forget to respond to your daily uh, journal, and good luck on this essay. I'm here for you.